there. Here we are with our patient Gil. Uh, Gil just stopped by the office today for uh, uh, to say hello, and we are checking him out after about five years ago. We did his first surgery, a max harvest, and then we did a second surgery about three years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Gil came into the office when he was about 23 years old, so a young guy, and he was concerned about his hair loss, and he was obviously. Uh, focused on it as all of us who lose our hair are. And when he came in, he was searching for FUEs and different procedures, and then he decided to do it with us because he was looking for density. Right. Did I get that all about right? Yeah, pretty much. Are you happy yeah. with what we did for you? Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I did come in at a really young age and, you know, pretty much bald, absolutely no hair at all. You know, after the first surgery, I did get a good amount of density out, out of that, and definitely after the second surgery, definitely helped fill it in. So, how do you feel? Uh, you know, everyone tells me I look younger now than I did when I was 20 years old, so <laughs> that's awesome. good, yeah. It's all, it's, he, he, it's an unbelievable difference when you see the before photos. It's such a change, because he literally like had pretty much nothing in the front here. Um, and your family and friends, what are they saying to you? They say, good, good thing I did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And has, has it changed your confidence level or changed your you know dating life or anything like that for i'd say so yeah i mean uh, i used to wear hats a little more than yeah. I, than you know than i do now and uh, definitely more confidence you know when it comes to i guess the flirting with the girls and stuff like that 100 percent for sure uh, confidence level 100 percent higher now that's great that's great and now are you using propecia or rogaine i use propecia i okay. don't use rogaine uh, propecia basically taking it every day uh, just mean uh, making sure that maintenance is there just to make sure the hairs don't fall out. Awesome. Just continue to do that super easy though. Great, okay, good. So we would do recommend that all the patients do their part to keep as much of their own hair as possible. Uh, Josh uh, had mentioned to talk about how young patients who, when they're his age, want to have a procedure done, a lot of the doctors discourage them from doing it. They say, you're too young, wait, let's figure out where your hair, hair loss is at. And they almost discourage the younger patients from doing the procedure. So. If we discourage you from it, you'd still be where you were six years ago. Yeah, pretty much. I and mean, that would have been bad advice, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, now, I mean, we, we did it at the time, and it looks like, I mean, I am where I should have been, and it looks fine. The airline looks good. Everything, everything is ready exactly. to see. But it's, yeah, so where I'm really going with this is we, we're not proponents of waiting. Uh, we want to put the younger patients back to their normal life as soon as possible. And that this is a perfect example of that. He came in at an early age. He's got his results five years later. He stabilized with the preventative treatments and now he's back on with his life. So that's awesome. So anyways, we completely redid the entire hairline, built this hairline out, blending into the existing hairs on the sides. So when you look at him from a profile, we give him a nice youthful hairline. He wanted one of those um, lower recession hairlines. So it would reframe his face, give him that youthful look. I uh, did the suture line all the way from over here. So I'll kind of start showing this as I go. We did two procedures, so you're gonna see two lines. And then when you take the second line, we get a better quality of hair and more of it. I'm just gonna take them all the way around. Let me just squeeze over here, baby. So you can see there's one line down here, another one there. He cuts his hair super short. As you can see, the, what, what is this, like a two guard, three guard? Not a three, yeah. It's three guard, you can see nothing. And then here's the other side over here. It just came out awesome. It really fits you nice, man. We frame the face nicely, looks nice and natural. Suture lines are undetectable, just a great result. It came out awesome. Thank you. Uh, so what do you say to the guy sitting at home who's thinking about doing this? Um, it's on the fence. If you're on the fence, I mean, I definitely don't regret it. It's definitely a great experience. Uh, Dr. Bolton, you know, is one of the best in the business. So uh, definitely the procedure itself, super easy. Um, I, I think no I, pain, I think, no swelling. I think, I, I, think I fell asleep at the second surgery I was doing it. And I mean, it was super comfortable, super relaxed. And uh, afterwards, you know, uh, a little bit minor pain, but nothing too significant. Then definitely worth it. Worth it, yeah. That's awesome. Josh, is there anything you want to add to Sum this? up really quick for the guys who are trying to figure out FUE or strip. So the fact that you had strip, you have a lot more hairs on your head today. You have less scarring and your hairs were taken 100% from the donor area unlike FUE, which takes 
half from the donor area, half outside the donor area, and after two procedures, you wouldn't have an option for a third. You have plentiful amount to do more procedures if needed in the future. That's the advantage of the strip over the FUA. Yep, awesome. Congratulations. Thank Thanks you, for doing the video, appreciate it. Thank you.